I have a serious question for you, and it's the topic of today's video. Is Pluto a planet? Yes, this question is starting to make headlines again, and I'll tell you why. Is Pluto a planet? Depending on who you ask, you will get a very different answer. Everyone seems to have an opinion about this, but back in my day when I was a young Ellie in space learning about space and I learned about our solar system, I decided that Pluto was my favorite planet. I, I like the little guy, you know, I like the little runt. But then I found out that Pluto was demoted and it became a dwarf planet. And now there's talk about reclassifying Pluto as a planet again after this five year study. But it's not just Pluto. Other celestial bodies would be recognized as planets, according to this study. And this push comes more than 10 years after Pluto was demoted to dwarf planet status. This was back in 2006, and it was done by the International Astronomical Union. But now a paper that's going to be published in the Journal of Icarus argues otherwise. A team of astronomers from around the world argue that the IAU conflated science with the pseudoscience of astrology. This paper argues a planet should be classified according to scientists' 16th century definition. Planet is any geologically active body in space. This would greatly expand the number of planets in our solar system by up to 150 new planets. Boy, those would be hard to remember. <laughs> Pluto had been our solar system's ninth planet since 1930, but it was reclassified after that new criteria that it just couldn't meet. Those were a planet needs to be spherical, orbit the sun, and it needs to have cleared its orbit of other objects. So that last point is what demoted Pluto. I recently did a live stream with astronomer and Harvard astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell, and someone in the comments wanted me to ask Mr. Orbital Police himself if Pluto was a planet. Well, actually, this person said, tell them that Pluto is a planet, Jonathan, but Jonathan said he can't do that. And here's how he thinks of Pluto. In a comment, um, Michael in space says, Jonathan, tell them Pluto is a planet. I can't do that. Um, <laughs> it's a dwarf planet. Uh, I mean, and you know, the, there's, um, Oh, uh, I mean, there are people who've made very strong arguments recently that the IAU decision uh, about the definition of planets was a bad one. But I, uh, I still feel like, even though the technical uh, arguments you can you can disagree with, the idea that we should teach people that there are eight planets in the solar system and Pluto isn't one of them is a reasonable way of looking at the solar system. There are eight large objects, and then there are 200 smaller objects that are still worlds. Pluto is one, and Ceres is one, and Titan is one. But that I think if you're gonna teach the elementary school kids the first cut understanding of the solar system, stopping at Neptune is a good place to stop, uh, because I can teach the kids eight names and I can't teach them 200 names. Uh, yeah. Right. And and so uh, I think without without gerrymandering, you can't include Pluto without including that other 200. Well, um, I think we've started a Pluto debate in the comments, so I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. No, this, this is one of these very touchy issues. Uh, um, yeah. Pluto is the king of the dwarf planets instead of being the runt of the big planets. Yes. I, I think. But but uh, but yeah, people are very attached to Pluto. We're not, I mean, Pluto is a great world to study. And I, I'll tell you, my real answer is that I actually think planet isn't a very useful idea. Oh. Um, because it's so, even though people have argued that it can, you can generalize the word, it's, it's um, or let's say it has limited usefulness because it, it draws attention to the difference between planet and moon, right? A planet goes around the sun, a moon goes around a planet. And that's interesting for certain points of view, but mostly what we're interested in is, is this a big thing or a small thing? Is this a thing with an atmosphere or is it a small rock? And that includes a lot of things that we would normally call moons. Mm -hmm. And so I prefer to move away 
at least in the g typical discussions, uh, from using the words planets and moons, and instead talk about worlds. And so a world is something that it doesn't matter where it's orbiting. What matters is, is it big enough to be a place? Hmm. You know, as opposed to say uh, something I don't think is a world is is uh, Bennu, the asteroid that we got the sample from. It's a few miles across. That's a rock, a big rock. It's a mountain in space, but it's not a world. It's right. not round. It's not you know it doesn't have an atmosphere. I you know, have had an atmosphere, but but you know it's, it's that sort of distinction, right? Um, um, and so I think it's better for people to focus on the worlds. That's a good answer. Now, Pluto is a world. Pluto is a world, a whole new world. Of course, when you think of Pluto, you might also think about the Disney dog, Pluto. <laughs> and a little fun trivia for you about Pluto. Pluto actually got his name, coincidentally, when Pluto was also named the ninth planet of our solar system. So let's dig into this a little bit more. Pluto first appeared as a nameless bloodhound tracking the escaped convict Mickey in the film The Chain Gang that was released on August 6, 1930. On October 23rd of the same year The Picnic was released, Pluto was then Minnie's dog and was named Rover. The Moose Hunt, which came out on May 3rd, 1931, Pluto appeared as Mickey's pet and was given the name Pluto. Several months had passed between the naming of what was then classified as the ninth planet Pluto on May 1st, 1930, and the attachment of that name to the dog character. Ben Sharpstein, a Disney animator, said they thought the name Rover was too common, so they had to look for something else. They changed it to Pluto the pup, but he says he honestly doesn't remember why. Well, it turns out some Disney animators say that Walt Disney chose that name to capitalize on the sensation of the newly discovered planet Pluto. So of course, I thought it would be a great idea to make a video about this topic. That way all of you guys can go in the comments and have a polite, well-mannered discussion, hopefully, about what you think. Should Pluto be considered a planet again? Or do you think otherwise? Leave your comment below, please let me know. Somehow I forgot to film an outro, so you'll just have to deal with my voice, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, and if you're not already subscribed to Ellie in Space, make sure to subscribe. I have a lot of great content that I'm working on for you, including I am working on a one-on-one -on -one interview with Scott Manley, so if you watch him and you fly safe with him, make sure to leave whatever question you'd like me to ask him in the comments. Really looking forward to that and some other really fun stuff I've got planned for 2022. So thanks for joining me for the ride.